Yeah, coach. So, at first uh, scrimmage with the team for fall camp. How'd you feel about the entire team offensively as well? Yeah, I think there's a lot of really good stuff we're gonna get on film. 100 plays. Um, we had some turnovers that are gonna really be crucial in our success moving forward. We get a chance to coach those. We've done a great job in camp taking care of them thus far. Today was a anomaly so far, but I'm excited about that because it makes a chance for, those, for us to really be critical of ourselves and understand how that can change the game. But great finish. A lot of really good situational football for the first time in fall camp in, the, in this uh, in this offense. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. And I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged. You mentioned the turnovers, a couple from the quarterbacks. Um, how did you feel about the way they kind of both Sims and Levitt kind of grew into the uh, into the scrimmage? Even Trent Bourget as well who had a couple touchdown passes. Yeah, I mean those guys responded. I mean those guys are in the first year in the offense, you know, and and, and those things can't happen um, regardless of the, of the experience. I mean forcing the ball in certain situations got to be something that, that we take due diligence in. Um, but I think the way that they came back was probably the biggest piece. You know, I think that their, their ability to refocus their attention and move the ball later was, was really exciting. What did you tell them at the end? We saw I saw you in the huddle with the quarterbacks just yeah. now, talking to all of them uh, post-practice. What did you tell them about the scrimmage, what you thought about their game, anything, like little notes that you can maybe tell me? Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm really encouraged about their demeanor. You know, I'm really encouraged about their, their toughness, um, the way they've been leading the group. Um, uh, we're going to take care of the turnovers. That'll be that'll be no problem. Um, but I'm just encouraged about the way they're leading the team. I think at the end of the day, that's that's a huge piece of that position to make sure that they're accountable to do so. Jordan Tyson today showed up in a boot after not practicing for the last couple of days, and obviously a lot of other receivers stepped up today. Did a really good job. Sample and uh, Gil, uh, Gillery, some other players. What did you make first off of the receiving core, and how do you feel about Jordan Tyson? Anything you can say about his injury and his potential recovery? Yeah, I'm not coming on injuries. That's going to leave that to coach. Um, we're excited about Jordan being back here soon. Um, but those guys having an opportunity to play today in the scrimmage and having some other guys step up um, has been awesome. Um, guys like Malik and even Jake and Quan and then some guys down the road, down the road, down the street with a little bit. Um, the young guys, um, you mentioned samples and, and, he, and even and even Coleman's awesome opportunity for those guys to get in and make some plays. What did you feel about the tight end group today? Uh, Harpool with a couple big receptions. Obviously, Medier over here with a great snag. Yeah. Uh, how do you think they played today as a whole, and how they kind of impacted the scrimmage? Those guys are huge. I mean, you know, a lot, all three of those guys are new guys to our system. You know, new guys here in the program, new guys in the system. Um, they're a huge part of our system. Um, our offense is, is predicated with tight ends in it, and so those guys are going to be a big, huge asset for us. They made some plays. All they've been making plays all camp today. They continue to do so, both in the run and the pass game. So, um, super encouraged by that group. Yeah, how did you feel about the dynamicness of the of the pass or the uh, run game today? Uh, some good runs by a couple different players. Obviously, a lot of guys being able to get uh, good momentum up the field. Do you think the blocking was up to the standard you wanted it today? Do you think the guys are making good reads in the running back room when you got they got off of they got off handoffs? Yeah, I think uh, so far in training camp, I've been really excited about the front um, and our run game. The backs have been have been awesome. Um, a really cool group. Um, a really deep group with, with a lot of diversity. Um, and so I couldn't be more excited about our run game up front, um, especially with those backs behind it. Now that you guys are finishing up, obviously Camp T done now, heading back to the Valley, what are the things you're looking to kind of hone in on with a couple weeks left before the beginning of the season? You know, the transition now for the second half of, of, of training camp really gets down into, into some finer points of, of, of measuring up on things that can we got to get get, home, get honed up as far as turnovers, as far as mental error, as far as just the tightening up of the whole thing. The system's in, for the most part, uh, you start getting into some game planning and opponents. Um, you start getting a lot of uh, you know specific situations you know, for the remainder of the, of the training camp. Staying healthy and getting that first dance. That's the most important piece now. Were there any major surprises or anything shocking that you saw today that maybe you didn't necessarily expect from individual players or just certain situations, whether positive or negative? No, 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 no shock, no shocking uh, surprises by anybody really. Um, guys have done a good job. They've worked their tail off. This was an awesome opportunity to come up to Camp T with our with our group and and, and, and tough it out and get in a different environment you know, with no distractions. So uh, excited. How did you feel the bond grew between the guys? Obviously, so much uh, time that you guys are spending together every day in practice and then at a camp like this where you're with them for days on end. Do you think you could feel the players kind of growing closer together as camp was going on and like in the huddles and when you guys were yeah, practicing? I, I, I think it's inherent when you get in these situations and you get away um, putting guys together and having to spend a lot of time together playing cards, playing dominoes in a place that, you know, you're, you're in dorm room, you're in, you're in dorms with cots and bunks and there's just a lot of real team bonding that can, that can take place and it did and, and I think that's been really special. How have the meetings been for you guys as a position groups or as a team uh, talking to different uh, coaches and about what they need to kind of maybe do little things, anything like that? Have they meetings kind of grown and been more, I guess, cohesive or more understanding as time has gone on with the groups? They haven't changed very much. Our meetings are pretty demanding. Uh, it's a big part of our, our part of our identity as far as how we prepare and how we 
um, teach our guys. Uh, we've taken every opportunity even up here to take time for meetings and organize them, be structured, and get a lot done. How did you feel about the focus today? Obviously, first time with these guys playing in front of the, uh, the crowd uh, here at Camp T. Not a huge crowd, but a crowd big enough to maybe, you know, mentally uh, kind of affect you in different ways. Do you think that had anything to do with the way the team played today or had any impact on the players? No, I think it was awesome. I think it's so cool to have our guys come out here, to have the fans come out here and have players come out and support them on a Saturday. This is awesome. To have people around and change the landscape, change the environment. I didn't see our guys flinch one bit.